I've been finishing off a little play um, that I started a couple of days ago and um, I've been not so much jelly printing as I have just sploshing paint about, finger painting and just generally having a lark with some paints. So, yes, <laughs> what can I say? This just shows you what goes on in my head. Um, um, yeah, nice and bright, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, you can't get any brighter than that, can you really? Well, yes, you can, because you, you'll see that when you see the next sheet. <laughs> But uh, I thought it was nice and cheerful. This is sort of the mixture of, um, here is a mixture of uh, a, a bright yellow called lemon yellow and a, and a limey yellow as well. Uh, and this is uh, um, like a kind of magenta, well, um, I think. I uh, haven't got it out at the minute. Yeah, so, um, kind of went a bit nuts, uh, but as you'll see by the next sheet, I went more nutty, but when I show you in a minute what I've been doing with them, um, this will look a lot better. Now, <laughs> look at this one, isn't this vivid? Uh, yeah, use the same colourway again. Um, I did think maybe I'd do these as um, pages to go in a journal, but I decided to do them as fronts for journals. Um, this one was using a mixture of um, a purple, well, is it purple? Amethyst paint and this um magenta is like a sort of hot pink really um and these black splodges are using a large bubble wrap which are just slathered in black paint and then just dabbed it on and then I, as you can see i sprinkled uh, like paint flicked um some white acrylic when on the theme again of bubbles why bubbles, I don't know, but, um, yeah, say no more. This one, I think, is just absolutely gross. I don't like it. But there's elements of it, you know, if you cut it in um, portions, you know, just cut portions out of it, might look okay, but um, I'm really not liking that one. I like this one because it's lime green again with me um, lemon and yellow mixed and very badly painted stencil on there of mine. Um, I was a bit too heavy with me paint but I still like it anyway and um, I think as a journal cover it's got quite leathery even though it's like on paper because the paint, acrylic paint's quite thick, it's quite, um, like plasticky. Uh, yeah, so, um, that might look better. This one, I like this one, even though it's a bit bonkers. But you can see I've gone rather crazy on this one. And, and this was my very first one before I started doing all these others. Uh, but it seems I steadily got worse as I went along. This one was just all the, um, when I was rolling off the paint from my briar, um, so it's sort of like the wipe-offs really, but it's ended up quite a nice background. This is just uh, wipe-offs from the stencil I use. Uh, but I shall add a bit more to that one and this is sort of another one like this one really another sort of waste paint 
that's still usable. They're quite quite similar really, aren't they? Um, yeah, so with a couple of the pages, two or three of the pages I've used, this is what I've done with them. Uh, firstly, this little... Um, um, this is just like a little notebook size to stick in my handbag. Um, and I will sure carry about with me a little travel pack of paints and a couple of pens in that. Um, and you, you can see I very badly stapled it. It was just very quickly done. And that, that again, is using my um, waste paints. I uh, like to wipe off my brushes and my brayer and that. But uh, I then, on my silhouette, cut this border. Isn't that cute? And I thought... I'd stick it along the edge there and wrap it round and uh, and to hide up my staples, which I won't show you too closely, um, I should cut a doily punch so it's got like a spine of like a doily edge so it shows front and back um, with this sort of going along the bottom which I shall colour in but I think isn't that adorable? Isn't that cute? Hang on. And I think if it's lightly coloured with some pan pastels or something, that would look quite nice. So that's that one. That's one sheet I used. Uh, then um, I'll show you the book I have actually finished. Um, which is the front. Yeah, that's the front. But can you see? I mean, this was like two, like one page. But I got two halves out of it to make my book. And uh, it's quite arty farty, don't you think? And very bright and colourful. And that's what I like. I like colourful. And because um, it, it cheers me up, you know? And what a lovely way to start. 2014 with a nice new journal to play in and I stitched it with just one stitch so if I want to add an inclusion in there I can and then tape it in and I've left enough gaps down the centre of each well between each signature so I can add um, any dimensional pieces and uh, I'm just really pleased with it because it's sort of cost me nothing and it's a book and here you'll see that I um, used an embossing folder on a piece of card and covered my stitching so um, I really like that can you see I'm really pleased with that and I've almost finished another one which is another uh, journal, oh sorry, background sheet and I just, instead of leaving the, um, the edges like this, uh, leaving it black, I painted it black and white just to make it look a bit different again and um, this one's still to be pieced together and you'll see I've left even more gaps so I can put even more dimensions dimensional things in there and you'll see that in this one I've included some of my um, Christmas cards as inclusions just to use them up and not be wasteful um, so yeah quite pleased with that so uh, that one will be assembled in the morning and uh, ready to use so that's three books, and then I've got um, I've got two more sets of covers here, um, which are nice and bright and cheerful. That's the front, and that's going to be the back. But you see where I've been splashing paint about. I've got it on there, but I'll cover that up, I think. So that'll be the front and back another one 
and then slightly smaller than that one is this one using up my jelly prints or my finger painting so they do get some use and I shall put something on there like some paper punch flowers or something but keep them flat on there because uh, the sooner that anything dimensional will be inside rather than on the front so that I can stack them nice on the shelf all these different books like that because these are these are be as fat as these and make a nice interesting library along with my little handbag one yay so uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've been doing with my uh, finger painting and jelly printing and goodness knows what else and um, and hopefully at some point this month I can be uh, starting to do some like arty farty stuff in one of them so uh, you can see me using my book so thanks for joining me and um, I'll be back again real soon. Take care everybody, sleep well and catch up with you another time real soon. Bye bye.